One of my least favorite childhood camping memories is trying to stuff my cheap Walmart tent into its little green bag, repeatedly rolling it up and unrolling it because I just couldn't get it back into the bag that it came with. Thankfully, I'm older and wiser and I don't pack my tents that way anymore, but I have seen a lot of my colleagues, friends, fellow moto campers out there still trying to complete the Rubik's Cube level puzzle of shoving their tent back into the original bag by rolling it up. It turns out there's more than one way to pack a tent, so let's talk about some of the other options that might just be faster, more convenient, and give you more versatile packing options on your motorcycle. So the first method is the one I just talked about. I call it Old Faithful. You fold up the tent, the footprint, and the rain fly until it's about as wide as your tent poles. You set your tent poles down on the tent and you roll the thing up slowly and surely trying to get it as tight as possible and it doesn't seem to matter how hard you try you still end up fighting to get the last couple inches in there it always ends up puffier at the top like a mushroom than it is small at the bottom i tested it from tent on the ground to packed tent into luggage and it took me two minutes and 33 seconds to roll up my tent that way i would rate the ease and convenience of old faithful as low the packing versatility of this method is kind of low because you're stuck with a single size giant long tent there are some advantages it's a little bit neater and it's easier to just unroll the whole tent and have everything kind of out there it's fun it makes you feel like a reverse magician instead of pulling the tablecloth out from under the flowers and Stand. You are shoving it back under there. Disadvantages, a big one is apparently if you roll your tent or fold your tent the same way every time, it can cause increased wear because the same places get rolled and folded over and over, which eventually will wear them out and make your tent get holes faster. And it doesn't matter if you're using it or not because the longer it sits in the bag fold up like that, it creates that same tension. So supposedly that can cause premature wear to your tent. Your mileage may vary on that, but it is a concern. Another disadvantage is the tent is as large as possible. It is the full size tent, giant loaf of bread size and you got to find a way to get it into your luggage. Option two is a little bit faster and that is rather than trying to roll the tent up you put the tent poles into the bag and then you stuff the tent into the bag around it. I always stuff my tent in in the same order it's always rain fly then tent then footprint so that they come out in the opposite order as, I, as I'm setting it up so I tested that method of stuffing the things three individually with the poles inside the bag and that took me a minute 39 but you can see in the video that it also took me probably an extra 10 seconds to get the bag closed because for some reason I didn't get the stakes in there very well. I don't know, I suck. So it's around a minute 30, a minute 39. The ease and convenience of this is higher because it's easier to pack up and faster. You don't have to worry about making sure that it fits into the bag. It always fits into the bag because if it doesn't, you just stuff harder. Packing versatility is low because you're still stuck with the exact same size bread loaf as you were rolling it up. So it doesn't really help there. The advantage, it's much faster and it supposedly will cause less wear in those common wear areas on your tent. The disadvantage is the tent is still as big as possible like I said and also there's a chance of tearing your tent if you're stuffing it in around those poles if you're careful that doesn't really happen but it is possible the metal ends of your poles can catch the material of your tent or the mesh as you're stuffing if you're not stuffing carefully and tear a hole in your tent so you don't have that concern with the rolling method option three stuff the tent into the bag leave the poles separate you can either keep the poles in the bag they come with or you can buy a tent pole bag from Moscow Moto or Rocky Mountain or something. I tested this method. It took me a minute 30 to go from tent on the ground to tent in my luggage. Ease and convenience here I would say is moderate. It's fast, it's easy to pack up and it gives you some versatility with packing on the bike. Packing versatility also medium because you still have to find a place for the big tent poles but it doesn't have to go in your luggage. You can strap those to the outside separately or find a separate slot to stick them into that maybe the whole bread loaf wouldn't fit. The tent itself can be shorter than the pole you're not you're not limited by that 12 inch or whatever pole section and the tent is still protected in the sack there's also less chance there of tearing your tent on the poles when you're packing it up because they're separate disadvantage here is there's a chance of leaving your poles behind i can't tell you how many times i've been at a rally and someone's been like oh crap i brought my tent but not my poles it just it just increases those chances i don't know why it's so common but it is and you have to find separate places for each component rather than just having everything in one place and the fourth option this is the one i had thought about the least but similar to the three sleeping bag packing methods which we shared in an earlier video which i'll link for you the third one is no bag at all so the poles are separate you take the tent itself footprint inner tent outer tent and just shove it directly into your bag 
and there are some big advantages there. I did that and it took me a minute 13, so it was the fastest method. The ease and convenience is very high because you're just shoving it in there. Packing versatility is incredibly high for the tent because you can stuff it into places and fill in spaces in your bag that wouldn't otherwise be useful for anything. For the poles, it's still a little bit less convenient. You still have to find a 12 inch section, but they're at least skinnier, so it's easier than the full tent stuffed into the bag. Advantages there, it helps fill the empty space and keep your gear from jostling around inside your bag. It's faster and more versatile and packing is just a lot easier when you're not dealing with a giant cantaloupe sized or bread loaf sized ball of tent whether the poles are in the bag or not that is one single giant piece versus this way you can stuff it in and around everything or even split your tent up so part of it's in one saddle bag and part of it's in the other disadvantages here your tent is not protected at all and could be damaged by other things in your luggage so if you have a knife or a fork in your bag you could put a hole in your tent you could have it rubbing up against something with the vibration of the bike that could put a hole in your tent so there are some additional concerns there because your tent is not protected and self-contained. Also, if your tent gets wet, then everything in your panniers is wet because it's going to touch everything. You don't have a protective sack for that. So that's a disadvantage in crappier weather to just shoving everything into your bag. Also, if your footprint is muddy, stuffing that into your panniers with your clean clothes and everything is less than ideal. So obviously the difference in timing here is not massive. It's one minute faster to stuff the bag than it is to roll it up. So a lot of this just comes down to personal preference. I personally prefer stuffing because it's faster to get the tent into the bag and also faster to get it out. Removing the poles from the bag can make packing easier, but more than once I've been on a trip or at a rally, like I said, where someone left their poles at home. So I like to keep them together where I can, but that kind of depends on what luggage I'm using. It's up to you how you want to deal with your own tent on your motorcycle, but at least now you know there are other options that don't require you to roll your tent up tighter than it came from the factory originally. I don't understand why it's so easy to stuff a tent into a bag, but rolling it up, forget about it. I have a bonus packing tip for you, an answer to a frequently asked question. What do you do if your tent is wet, if you're packing up your tent wet? A couple options for you there. I just stuff everything in the tent bag and accept that it's going to get wet, except I'd leave the footprint out, especially if it's nasty muddy. I just strap it to the outside of the bag. If it's still raining, the rain will kind of wash it off and it won't be as nasty because like getting things wet is one thing, but getting things wet and muddy is another. So I just kind of deal with the wet and I hang my tent up when I get home and dry it out. Another tip if you're going on a multi-day trip and you know it's going to be raining or you have some idea that it might rain is bring an extra tarp, set it up over your tent and then set your tent up underneath this. I actually learned this one from Critter Moto. That that way you're setting up your tent in a dry sheltered space and you can also tear it down under there and take the tarp down last so if you're worried about getting your tent wet then putting up a tarp can make a big difference and the priority is always keeping the inner tent away from wet things so it stays mostly dry inside so if you have to stuff the inner tent in the bag and put it in your luggage and just strap the rain fly and the footprint to the outside of your bag and at least then the thing that's touching your stuff is mostly dry and not like getting soaked in your bag all day so uh, let us know if you have other common questions about motorcycle camping, motorcycle camping gear, motorcycle camping packing. We're always looking to create content that's helpful to people on those things. And also don't forget that motocampnerd.com has the world's largest carefully curated selection of motorcycle camping gear. Everything there has been handpicked by Ben and his wife Mary to facilitate your smoothest, best, easiest, and most fun camping trip of all time. So check out the website because Motocamp Nerd has all the gear you need so you can pack small and camp easy.